What time is it? As we command that morning, the word reaching us is a question. What time is it? What time is it? When time is not understood, seasons are not known, purpose will be misunderstood. Bible said in the book of Ecclesiastes chapter 3 from verse 1 there is time and there is also a season to everything there is a season and to everything there is what a time for every purpose under the heaven a man cannot exist on the earth a man cannot effectively achieve purpose on the earth without understanding the right thing to do, when to do it, and be able to do it effectively. A nation will not succeed in what they do without understanding what is important and the season the nation has come into. Continents will not be able to know exactly what is expected of them. But what we may not be able to define is whether the world is in a time of love, whether there is a time of hate, or there's a time of war, or the world is in a time of peace. Or is the world in a time or in the world in a time of situation and circumstance where there can be a combination of war, love, hate and peace? Understanding the dimensions is what men of times and seasons we need to understand to be sensitive to know the times and seasons. Times tell leaders. Times tell followers. Time also tells the church the right choice to make. But that time is given to men that are wise. It is men that are wise that understand their times and their seasons. And concerning spiritual matter, looking at what you are passing, what the world is passing through from the x ray And that was why heaven gave us to have this understanding. We are giving signs to understand. I'll soon come there. While in the spiritual calendar, times are understood by understanding what we call the Kairos moment. God's Kairos moment is when heaven has set a program to achieve a certain divine purpose and agenda. And therefore, a man's Kairos time are given according to God's divine calendar. A man that must operate under God's divine favor and must achieve divine purpose must operate under a Kairos season, must understand God's Kairos timing, must walk within God's Kairos anointing. You must enjoy God's divine help and assistance. And this is what we call Kairos time. God walks in the opposite direction. He has to prove to men that he is in charge of the weather. Rain cannot stop him. Sun cannot stop him. The storm cannot stop him. Wilderness cannot stop him. Dryness cannot stop him. Situations cannot stop him. Circumstances cannot stop him. Atmosphere cannot stop him. Finances cannot stop him. He's a God of times and seasons. When it's time for God to visit a man, nothing can stop that time of God, his season and his purpose in the life of a man. I therefore declare this morning in the name of Jesus, that as we set and command our day, Father, let it be your time. Let it be your season. Let it be the time of divine purpose over the earth realm from the heavenlies. 
Let the ordination, the orchestrations, the times and seasons begin to align according to divine timing and purposes in the name of Jesus. That means that no man can be able to define his time and his season by looking at the weather. You can't look at circumstance to be able to read the times and the seasons. And I believe that to understand time and season, you must know that the fact that something is urgent does not mean that it's important. A man that works in God's countless time and be able to understand God's Kairos moment in his own his time will understand the calendar of man but will obey and operate under divine calendar. The highest payoffs and greatest opportunities are usually important but not urgent. Focus first on what is important and not what is merely urgent. I said two, six things you can never do with time. Number one, you can never save time. You can never buy time. You can never borrow time. You can never steal time. You cannot manufacture time. You cannot also modify time. So what must you do with time? You must spend it. You cannot save it. Time is passing. Time waits for no man. You can't keep it. It is moving. If you waste your time, you have lost it. The only thing you can do is to start maximizing your moment. Start maximizing your time. And when the child begins to understand this, and nations begin to understand it, then they can begin to be productive. They can be successful. And then they can begin to actualize purpose. Every man under the sound of my voice, Know it this morning that there's a calendar of heaven. There's a calendar that has been set for things to be achieved, for things to be accomplished. Before us, nations have seen the running calendar that was set with COVID-19 virus. The time was set along the time when you start hearing about the vaccines. It was set along the same time when you start hearing about G5. It was also set along the same time when you start hearing about the lockdown. It was set along the same time when people will lock down their business and they will sit at home. It was set at the same time when people will start to experience pandemic situation and untold hardship and death. It was set at the same time when fear and hunger, hunger, oppression and intimidation will cause people to be paralyzed. It was set at the same time when the world will be at the mercy of the one world order. It was set at the same time when the satanist and the satanic kingdom will set the times and bring every man to agree and to begin to achieve whatever it is that is their purpose. But guess what? Those who have set the time understand it. And this time was set by Satan. But we must not waste our time as a church. Following the satanic time and the calendar. I've come to announce this morning. That heaven has set his own time. And we shall know God's own time. By understanding the seasons of heaven. Therefore I command this morning. Let church arise. For there are times and signs and seasons for the church to also understand what time has the church come into I say breaking anointing and this anointing is breaking forth and the purpose of this anointing is to bring the church to understand their times and their seasons when it's time for God to visit a man nothing can stop that time of God his season and his purpose in the life of a man I therefore declare this morning in the name of Jesus that as we set and command our day 
Father, let it be your time. Let it be your season. Let it be the time of divine purpose over the earth realm from the heavenlies. Let the ordination, your constrictions, the times and seasons begin to align according to divine timing and purposes in the name of Jesus.